I just came back from a haircut and I come back to see Cinder sitting right in front of my bed waving the guild flag. But you guys aren't here for that. You guys want me to talk about gathering. Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about part 2 of the What Is series and the main focus of today's topic will be gathering. So first of all, what is gathering? When you press P over here, you're going to see that you have a gathering stat, but if you click on learn more, you're going to realize that gathering is a lot more complicated than the others, mainly because gathering consists of lumbering, fluid collecting, hoe gathering, butchering, tanning, mining, and water scooping. So all of these different activities are all considered gathering. And so why is gathering so important? It's because gathering is used for all of your other life skills. So for example, lumbering and fluid collecting will allow you to collect materials which are used to upgrade your boat so that bartering will become a lot easier. Buttering allows you to gather meat so you can use the meat for your cooking. So now that we've covered what gathering is, we're going to be focusing mainly on butchering. The reason for that is because that is what I personally do with my gathering. I got my rank to Artisan 8 mainly through butchering. So first of all, how do you begin with butchering? You're going to need a butcher's knife. So over here I have a Tet Manos butcher knife which is a very expensive knife and you're probably not going to be able to afford this yet because it's 2.8 billion silver. So how do you start off with butchering? So first of all, I'm going to assume that you're in Velia or at least you're familiar with Velia. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on Velia over here and you're going to click on the find NPC button and then you're going to find the material merchant. You're going to click on that and they're going to set a waypoint to the material merchant. If you're not in Velia, that's fine as well. You can simply come out, you zoom to whatever town you're in. For example, if you're in Heidel, you can click on the fine merchant and as well, just click on the material merchant. The symbol for the material merchant is this little whole looking symbol okay you're going to click on that and it'll set a waypoint on it so you're going to run to the material merchant you're going to talk to them and they're going to be like what's up and then you open up their shop so over here at their shop they're going to sell you all these different materials so if you want to do fluid collecting you're going to need a fluid collector if you're doing butchering you need a butcher's knife uh, if you want to cut down trees you need an axe if you want to do tanning you need a tanning knife so forth and so on so there are different ranks for these collectors. Just think of it as different tiers. So the lowest tier, the most basic one, is going to be the dull butcher's knife, the shabby fluid collector. The gray text is the most basic one. And then if you scroll down a little bit, you'll be able to buy the green ones, which are the improved versions. But if you scroll down a little bit more, you're going to notice that there's a lot of blue gear over here. However, they cost 15 million silver. So that's way out of our price range. So what we want to buy is we want to buy the Logias gear over here. You're going to notice that there's a bunch of Logias gear for 1.5 million. However, I'm going to save you 500,000. We're not going to buy from this material merchant. We're going to go straight to Logias farm. So we're going to ignore this. And again, we're going to press M to open up the map. And you can see Logias farm is right here. We're going to set a waypoint to it and we're going to go there now. So once you arrive at Logias farm, you're going to ignore the node manager. You're going to walk over here and you're going to talk to the wife over here, Camellia Logia. And you're going to notice over here that she sells all of the Logia gear for 1 million silver instead of 1.5 million silver, which we saw back there at the material merchant. So if you are going to do gathering, let's say you want to do butchering, I would recommend you to pick up the Logia's butcher knife over here for 1 million. So the reason why you want to pick up Logia's gear is because Logia's gear is repairable. The more animals you butcher, the lower the durability will be. So you're going to need to come back to town to repair your butcher's knife once in a while. And so the thing about the Logia's butcher knife is this is a repairable item. While if we went back to the material merchant, those gray tiers as well as the green tiers over there, those are one-time uses. So even though you're paying a lot less, you're only paying 50,000 for a butcher's knife if you're buying the green tier from the material merchant, the moment you finish using it, that butcher's knife will now be useless. So what you want to do is you want to pick up a reusable one. So the Logia's butcher knife is a very good choice. Another thing about Logia's gear is Logia's gear can be upgraded. So you can upgrade your Logia's butcher knife to like a Tet butcher knife or even a pen butcher knife if you're crazy, but it'll greatly increase the stats of your butcher's knife. While you're also here at Logia's farm, I highly recommend you to also pick up Logia's gatherer's clothes if you're going to be doing gathering, as well as your necklace, two rings, two earrings, and a belt. The reason for that is because your Logia accessories will give you life EXP, which applies to all of the life skills you do, 
as well as increase all life skill masteries. And all you need to do is spend 8 million total for your most basic starter set because you're spending 1 million for each piece and you're buying one necklace, two rings, two earrings, a belt, the gatherer's clothes, as well as whatever gathering tool you want. So if you're butchering, you buy the butcher's knife. If you're fluid collecting, buy the fluid collector, so forth and so on. So once you've got that, you've got your most basic set set up already. However, let's say you are of God of War and you have tons of money already because you do a lot of grinding. So what could you do to accelerate your process? And that would be to purchase Tet Logia accessories. The reason for this is because you're going to be sitting on Logia accessories for a very, very long time before you switch to Manos accessories. Because Manos accessories, we're talking in the billions range. While if you're talking about the Logia accessories, they're only in the hundred million range. So it's going to be a lot cheaper. So if you have the money, I recommend you guys to pick up full Tet Logia accessories. So that would be the earrings, the belt, the necklace, as well as the rings. So just pick up these six pieces, all Tet. And then everything else, if you want, you can be like me, like the gatherer's clothes. I have the Tet gatherer's clothes. And then as for the butcher's knife, if you can't afford a Tet Manos knife, it's not the end of the world. You can get a Tet Logia's butcher's knife that works as well. It'll be significantly cheaper than the Tet Manos butcher's knife, and it will still give you a significant amount of butcher knife mastery, which is used for butchering. So that covers gear. So next up is how do we actually proceed with butchering? So first things first is you want to determine whether you're going to be gathering for your own use or you're just gathering for profit. If you're just gathering for profit, it's very simple. You're going to open up your central marketplace, you're going to type in meat, and you're going to search the meat that sells for the most money. So over here you can see that bear meat sells for a lot, rhino meat sells for a lot, but maybe your character isn't that strong, you can't go kill rhinos, you can't kill bears yet. Then the easiest one would be deer meat. You can see deer meat sells for 9,700 each, so maybe you'd go gather deer meat. Or let's say that you don't want to gather deer because it's overpopulated. Then you might want to try gathering wolf meat. And if you don't want to do that, then you can gather lamb meat. There's all this different type of meat over here. And you're just going to look down the list and see which one sells for the most money. And you go out to that specific spot and you farm for that meat. So if you want deer meat, you want to go to bear. So where is bear? You're going to press M. You're going to zoom out. You're going to go towards the left of Velia. So left and down. You're going to see Keplin over here and you're going to go to the left of Keplin. And right here is bear. So you're going to come to bear and around bear there's going to be a lot of deer as well as a lot of herbs which allows you to power level your gathering mastery if you choose to do so. If you want to do wolves it's going to be the south of M cave over here as well as in between Toscani farm and forest of seclusion so around here and these two spots have a lot of wolves so you can go there kill the wolves gather the meat. However, do keep in mind, because of the current event that we have right now, which is uh, giving us a ridiculous amount of life skill EXP, there is a lot of people gathering because there is a high demand for this meat. Because a lot of people are buying the meat in order to power level their cooking. Because cooking is also a very profitable life skill. However, we will be talking about cooking in a future video. Alright, so next up is what do we do if we're gathering for ourselves? So you can see over here that my cooking is master 9 and the main reason for this is because cooking is very profitable. However, in order to make cooking profitable, you're going to need materials to actually cook. And so gathering is very important because a lot of the dishes that you're going to be making in order to make the profit will require meat. And thus you need to go out and gather the meat in order to make the profit. Because if you buy all the meat off the central market, you're going to be making less profit. It's simple as that. So if you're gathering in order to level up your cooking, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to pay attention on what type of meat you need for your cooking. So luckily for butchering, it's relatively simple. You can basically butcher any type of meat, deer meat, wolf meat, sheep meat. And these three type of meats will work on 90% of all the dishes that you want to do for cooking. So it's very, very convenient. Okay, next up is why is gathering so profitable? The main reason is because you get a lot of hard black crystal shards as well as sharp black crystal shards and a lot of black gem fragments and kafra stones from just doing gathering. 
You can see over here that I've got quite a lot and this is purely just from gathering. And what you can do with all these materials is of course you can sell it on the market right off uh, right away. But for me, I personally, I make the concentrated black magical gems, which are worth 9.5 million each, which is very, very profitable. So you can basically use all of these materials that you're getting, plus your regular blackstone armor and blackstone weapon in order to create concentrated magical black gems and sell these off to the market. Another thing you can also do is these concentrated magical black gems are actually used to upgrade your Manos gear. So if you scroll down here i actually have a duo manos ring over here which is worth 1.2 billion silver and since i do a lot of bartering bartering allows me to get manos gear for free what do i mean by free it's simply by these crow coins once you hit 2500 crow coins you can exchange it for any manos accessory of your choice however it will be stage one then you can use these concentrated magical black gems in order to enhance them in order to get them to a higher tier keep in mind manos accessories are the same as every other accessory if you fail the upgrade the accessory will blow up and you lose everything okay so it is high risk high reward so just keep that in mind all right in conclusion let's talk about the pros and cons of gathering the pros is it's very easy to get started because literally with 8 million silver you can get some pretty decent gear and go off and start gathering it's very very easy to get started there is not much barrier to entry to start gathering pro number two is it is very profitable no matter what level your gathering mastery is as long as you're doing the activity and as long as you have the energy to do it you will make money mainly because there's always going to be demand for meat there's always going to be demand for tree sap there's always going to be demand for wood so no matter what you gather you're always going to be able to sell it off to the market warning please do check the market you don't want to gather items which sell very slowly unless you are very patient so for most people you want to check what sells very quickly so for example in the meat department you know wolf meat deer meat they sell very quickly but there's a high supply as well as a high demand on that commodity okay and the last pro is you get a lot of hard black magical shards as well as sharp black magical shards as well as some kafra stones so that this can also be used to sell on the market if you want to upgrade them you can either make them into the concentrated magical black gems or you can simply just make them into the concentrated magical black stone weapon or the concentrated magical black stone armor and use them for yourself or you can also sell them on the market which is also a good amount of money okay so that covers the pros so now for the cons the biggest limitation to gathering is going to be your energy you can only gather when you have energy. So if you don't have the Camel Sylvia buff over here, which gives you plus two energy recovery, you're only going to be able to gather maybe twice a day, mainly because your energy regenerates very, very slowly. And the moment you're out of energy, you cannot gather anymore. So it's very important to increase your max energy pool by exploring the world, by talking to NPCs, by gaining knowledge so that you have a bigger energy pool. So right now my maximum energy is 254 and my gathering session is about 40 minutes. So I gather for 40 minutes and then I will be out of energy. Of course, you can negate this if you buy a lot of energy potions. And so over here, I've made my own energy potions. However, they are going up in price and they are quite expensive. So right now you can see if you want to buy an energy potion, which restores 50 energy instantly and has a 10 minute cooldown, you're looking to pay around 5.6 to 5.7 million silver for that 50 energy. So it might be worth it for you if you can afford it or it might not be worth it. It's really up to you. But uh, in my case, I like to let my energy refill naturally and then I use it whenever I have energy. I never really use my energy potions. And that is probably the biggest downfall in gathering is you can't do it indefinitely. There is a limitation to it. There used to be a method where you can spend silver to replenish your energy. However, I believe they took that out of the game. Okay, the second con is because gathering is so profitable, everyone is doing gathering so in very popular spots such as bear and as well as wolves the two places that i pointed out there are usually a lot a lot of people there and that will hinder your efficiency because the wolves only spawn so fast and if there's like 10 people trying to kill the wolves and trying to gather the meat then it's going to take a lot longer for you to burn through your energy in order to collect all the meat that you need in order to sell on the market and make a lot of money so from what i understand is there's like an honor system sort of where people kind of queue up and they wait for people to 
blast through their energy. But in my case, if I see someone in bear or if I see someone at wolves gathering the meat, I just switch channels. I just immediately switch channels and hope that there's no one there. And if there's someone there again, I'll switch channels again in 15 minutes, so forth and so on. And eventually I do find a channel that is empty and I start gathering there. Um, I don't exactly know what the unspoken rules are, but for me in life skilling, I just kind of mind my own business and uh, I don't be hostile to other people because there's no need to, you know, we're life skilling, we're just having fun, it's, it's a chill activity. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a subscribe. In tomorrow's video, we're going to be talking about farming. And then the day after, we will be talking about cooking. The main reason is because gathering, farming, and cooking are like the holy trinity. Like these three are linked together. And by doing all three activities, you can make a lot, a lot of profit. So yeah, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. What can I say except you're welcome for the heat? the boost so red.